Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to learn about dual capacitors used in air conditioner outdoor units, and I'll explain how they are wired and how they function with the compressor and the fan motor. So if you've ever looked inside an AC unit and wondered what that round or oval can with three terminals does, this video is for you. What is a dual capacitor? In most modern air conditioners, we use something called a dual capacitor. Now, what does dual mean here? It simply means that this single capacitor performs the job of two separate capacitors. One section is used to start and support the compressor, and the other section is used for the fan motor. Instead of installing two different capacitors, manufacturers use one dual capacitor to save space and wiring complexity. The three terminals of a dual capacitor. A dual capacitor has three terminals, and each one has a specific role, C common. This is the central connection point that connects to both the fan and the compressor. Fan. This terminal connects to the start winding of the fan motor. Herm, short for hermetic. This connects to the start winding of the compressor. The compressor is hermetically sealed, hence the name. These terminals are usually marked right on top of the capacitor casing as C, Fan, and Herm. Let's go step by step through the wiring of this capacitor in an AC unit. First, one of the main power supply wires, phase slash live, is connected to the common C terminal of the capacitor. This is the main entry point for electrical power into the capacitor. Next, from the common C terminal, you run two wires. One goes to the running terminal of the compressor. The other goes to the running terminal of the fan motor. Then connect a wire from the fan terminal of the capacitor to the starting terminal of the fan motor. Similarly, connect another wire from the Herm terminal to the starting terminal of the compressor. Finally, the common wires of both the compressor and fan motor are connected to the neutral of the power supply. This completes the wiring setup. Once the indoor unit sends a signal to the outdoor unit to turn on, the capacitor instantly delivers stored energy to both the fan motor and the compressor through the fan and Herm terminals. This stored energy gives both motors the boost they need to start spinning. After the motors start running, the capacitor's work is mostly done. It drops out of the circuit, and now the AC system continues to run with the normal phase current supplying the motors through their run windings. The capacitor doesn't stay active the entire time. It mainly helps start the motors and ensures they get the right torque at startup. If your outdoor unit isn't turning on, or if the fan is running but the compressor is not, there's a high chance the dual capacitor is faulty. Swollen or leaking capacitors are a clear sign that replacement is needed. Always discharge a capacitor before touching it. Even when the AC is off, it can hold a dangerous charge. If you're testing with a multimeter, Make sure to check capacitance and not just voltage. So that's a full explanation of how a dual capacitor works in an air conditioner's outdoor unit. It's a smart and compact way to handle two motors, the compressor and the fan motor, using just one component. If you're new to HVAC or want to become a technician, understanding the role of the capacitor is essential. It's one of the most commonly replaced parts in AC service. Up. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, comment your questions below, and don't forget to subscribe for more HVAC learning videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.